Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Heart and Power Systems. Wanted to uh, once again take a few minutes, introduce you to, uh, to another new product for us. Um, uh, many of you are probably familiar with what we call the Tough Pup. Um, the Tough Pup is essentially the, uh, the same machine as our juice box, Mark I, except the, uh, the, the Tough Pup is built into a Pelican case. Um, but the specs are, are for the most part the same, uh, the same battery size, same charger size, same solar capacity. Um, uh, it's primarily a different case and thanks to the case a little more functionality. Um, but just like we have recently introduced the Mark II juice box and the, the, the Mark II is significant in that it uses LifePo4 batteries bigger charger, bigger solar controller, much longer uh, charge cycle instead of 400 or so cycles on the battery system it's closer to 2000. Um, it is a different animal. It's definitely more expensive. The batteries themselves are much more expensive. Um, but uh, if, if your needs dictate that type of performance and if your pocketbook will handle it, it's a, it's a good choice. Um, so what we have here is the Tough Pup Mark II, and incidentally, the Pup, the original systems that uh, that that when when I was first building the systems, we were calling them a uh, uh, portable universal power, um, and then literally just shorthand talking about it, referring to it, it's heard of being called the Pup, um, and then Tough Pup seemed to be a natural um, extension, considering how uh, how tough we we try to build our gear. So in any event, the Tough Pup Mark II is built into a Pelican case. It's a genuine Pelican. They're awesome cases. Um, this is a, a 1510. It's got the, the ball bearing wheels and a pull-out handle. Uh, it's essentially the size of a, of a large carry-on bag. In fact, uh, technically it's the largest Pelican that still uh, uh, can be carried on uh, on an airplane. Um, but uh, Pelican case LifePo 4 battery system, 10 amp automatic charger, and that charger uh, is a worldwide charger, so uh, uh, any country with AC power, uh, the charger will automatically sense what you've got and charge the batteries. Um, it's also got a 10 amp solar controller, uh, which is appropriate in keeping with the, the 40 amp battery bank, um, uh, because when you size those correctly, um, a solar controller like this one can uh, can handle 120 watts of solar panels, uh, and uh, and those 10 amps or so <laughs> can actually charge the system in just about four hours. So if you can afford the awesome solar panel, like 100 plus watts, uh, you can can charge this thing up in a hurry. Uh, so in any event, the system, much like the original Tough Pup. Uh, it's got a fold-down shelf here, um, and that was originally partially just to take advantage of this space um, to add some structure and some strength to the lid. Um, it allows us to create a, a, mechanically, to create a system that when it's closed and latched, everything stacks up one-to-one, -one, um, meaning that you're not relying on the strength of the shell um, to resist a, a crushing or an impact force that that these rails actually kiss the bezel and it, it all locks up real nice and solid. Um, but it's got a shelf like the original Tough Pup. Um, and uh, maybe if you go ahead and come on in closer, we'll talk about the, uh, the controls and the specific features. Now one thing I would say, uh, this uh, uh, frankly is probably one of the prettiest systems that, that, that we've made. Um, it has a uh, uh, a couple of features that are different than, than the, the traditional uh, juice box. For example, this machine has uh, dual ammeters. Anybody who uses gear like this is going to appreciate the value of that. Um, if we power the system up, say to DC only, you see these meters pop up. Um, one of them is outgoing amps, the other is incoming amps. Uh, and you can see here, thanks to the, the high power USBs, which are three amps each, those, those DC to DC converters have become energized. Um, there's a small, very tiny amount of drain associated with the battery monitor and the meters. 
But in any event, all that stuff together is pulling about 0.1 amps out of the system. If I go ahead and rotate our master switch from DC to AC and DC, which brings the inverter online, you can see the phantom load from the inverter. People talk about this, and, uh, and without something like a, a machine like this, or at least a meter like this, you don't really appreciate it. But it is important to be aware of the fact that you power up an inverter, especially a, a decent sized one like this, and you're going to get a phantom load. That's energy lost. That's just sitting there at idle, just to energize it. Um, and that's one of the reasons why, like even on our, our juice box, um, you have the option of activating the inverter only or the DC side only. In this particular case, that's done uh, with this, uh, uh, it's actually a marine switch, um, but uh, you can have DC only, AC or DC, or AC only. AC only, the whole console goes dark. Nothing is being powered except for the inverter. Uh, depending on your needs, that might be exactly what you need. One of the neat things about a, a high-end switch like this, it's called make before break. What that means is that when you rotate between the different options, for example, when I move from DC to AC plus DC, you notice in the interim, like say midway through the stroke, the DC is still on. What it means, it's going to make the connection here before it breaks the connection here. So if I had a device running off of AC or DC, and for some reason I rotated between the two, that device would not have a, an interruption of power. The power is continuous even though you're moving through the, the stations on that switch. Um, uh, <clears throat> with the LifePo 4 batteries, if anybody knows what they're, what they're talking about with those batteries or they're familiar with them, uh, voltage is very important. Uh, you can damage the batteries if you run them too low and keep them there. Uh, uh, a monitor like this, which is made by Samlex, uh, uh, this is made in the Netherlands, it's a really nice battery monitor. This is a very intelligent monitor that, uh, that will sound an alarm uh, if you get over or under voltage. Over voltage is really not an issue with a machine like this, it's probably just not going to get there. But uh, it is nice to, to be warned if you're getting close to your lower voltage so you know to either charge the system or stop using it. Um, uh, in this particular version, um, this machine uh, uh, was built for the military, and that's why you see these unusual, to most of you they're unusual, uh, connectors. Uh, there's a military battery called a BA-5590 um, that, uh, that, that our, our soldiers will use to, to charge small items, um, and this is that proprietary connector. So they already have gear that will plug directly into this machine. In the civilian version of this same machine, um, the BA-55 uh, socket would be replaced with the Andersons. People are used to seeing that on our gear, and they get a lot of use on our gear. So in any event, in the civilian version, these would be uh, a twin pair of Anderson power poles. Um, another difference between uh, this system and our standard juice box is that uh, the USBs are independent DC to DC converters. They're buck converters. They're very efficient. Um, and each one of these is pushing three amps. Uh, if somebody's running iPads or tablets or, uh, or some of the, the newer smartphones that are real power hungry, you can appreciate what that means to you. With this system, you could charge half a dozen phones at, at one time. Uh, uh, something like a tablet, you could plug one into each one of those ports and rapid charge it. Um, it's, it's an ample amount of power. Uh, you've got uh, the charging input. There's a, an included cord. It's just a standard three-prong uh, cord to plug into the wall to charge. Here's your outlets for the, the inverter. One of the things we're uh, pretty happy about with this machine is we're using a 600 watt pure sign inverter uh, manufactured by Samlex. It's a nice machine. It's pure sign. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm quick to, to caution people against spending the money for a pure sign inverter, depending on their application. In most cases, it's okay to use what's called a chop sign or a modified sign. And just about any inverter you buy uh, that's, that's inexpensive is going to be a modified sine wave. In most cases, that's okay. Uh, if you've got specialized gear, some medical equipment, uh, it can scramble clocks sometimes on like microwaves. Um, some things that use compressors can run pretty inefficiently. Um, and that inefficiency is one of the reasons why we wanted to go to pure sign on this. Um, you know, this is not a cheap system. We haven't established retail price yet. It's definitely under two grand. It's definitely over 1500 um, but it's not an inexpensive machine. 
and uh, in keeping with the overall price point and the overall quality and capability, um, we saw fit to go ahead and spec a pure sign inverter. Um, one, because then the customer doesn't have to wonder if it's going to be okay to run their gear. The other is the efficiency gain. Depending on what you're doing, like a small fridge or something that uses a compressor or some other items um, that use certain types of motor controllers, uh, the pure sign inverter will actually use less power. To, to, to power the machine. Uh, and when you're talking about portable batteries, uh, that, that can be huge. Um, so in any event, you've got your pure sign inverter, got your charging ports, we've got some air vents here. We've got all the, the critical instructions are here. Obviously you could freeze this video and read that yourself. Um, got our meters, switch, standard 12 volt sockets, circuit breaker as is standard with, with all of our stuff. Um, we've got kind of a handy little USB task light here um, that, uh, that stows out of the way. Um, obviously the shelf, which you saw, um, uh, this is the kind of thing that just gets, it's amazing it's, it, what people wind up jamming on this thing, um, real useful. Um, over here is the stowage for the solar panel and also the stowage for the charging cord that plugs into the three-prong charger. This is also where the connection to the solar panel lives. Um, this particular panel is a PowerFilm 20 watt. Um, and as I've mentioned before in the video about the uh, Juicebox Mark II, I would consider 20 watts to be a minimum for a system like this. It'll handle a lot more, it'll handle 120. Um, but uh, in this scenario, that's what packages. Um, and uh, considering you've got 40 amp hours to work with, which is a lot of power, you're, you're talking 540 watt hours um, uh, if you're weekending, um, if you're doing anything where you're going to get some sun maybe in the next day or two, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, I guess if it were mine, personally, my family, if we were camping, if we were tripping uh, somewhere else, we probably would have the 20 and then we'd just grab like a 60 or something and keep it with us in case we wanted to use it and pigtail them together. Um, but uh, that is the uh, Tough Pup Mark II. Um, now this, this video is being shot uh, early in September. I believe we're going to be uh, launching probably mid-September. Um, uh, happily we've been real jammed up um, and uh, there's no need right now to invite more sales. We, we need to, to get ahead of what we've got in-house. Um, but we'll be launching this thing here in a couple of weeks. Like we've done in the past, we'll have some, some pre-launch pricing. Um, and uh, the best way to be apprised of that Either send an email to sales at portableuniversalpower.com and uh, in the subject line mention Tough Pup Mark II. Um, and, uh, and if you do that, then we'll put you on the list so you'll be notified when we, when we do have units available. Um, also check out our YouTube channel, which apparently you're doing right now, uh, which is Harden Power. Um, we've got a Facebook page, Harden Power, a Twitter account, Harden Power. Um, these are the places where the first places we'll go to to make updates or changes or announcements. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, the Tough Pup Mark II. If you want to back up, we'll just show folks how it all buttons up. Um, it's, uh, and, and you know what, this machine, I want to say this is going just shy of 40 pounds. I think it's about 37. Um, so it's a bit of a handful. It's not that bad, but you do have the retractable handle and the nice wheels um, and uh, we are more than happy to build you one. Uh, visit uh, portableuniversalpower.com. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention. This is Bill Harrison saying see you later. Take care folks. Bye.